Hello, my lovely Taurus. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This will be for the last week of November. Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. Take what most resonates, leave what doesn't. As you always know, this could be a tall story for you and sometimes might be just a message or two. Also, Taurus, keep in mind general readings could be fluctuating and as well the outcomes might be different. Let's see here. Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science for all Tauruses. What we got for you for the last week and where we're we hitting with these energies. What you strongly need to know at this time. As always, you know, I will mention the zodiac signs you are potentially my dealing. Keep in mind those zodiac signs you might have in the chart or the person you are dealing might have in the chart. Let's see here, Taurus, what we got here for the last week of November. All right, we do have 10 of pentacles, family, abundance, unity. There's a lot of things here you you need to be happy and also at the same time a lot of things here you might need to let go because sometimes as the spirit says there are good things and they are not as great things so this week Taurus there is something here around your family or immediate family might happen, you might need to help or somebody here might need some help. Because Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Swords, there is something here you, you might found out and somebody really will need to be supportive or being supported, okay? Eight of Swords. Somebody here might feel like, I don't know how to do this or I don't know how to make it better. Let's see. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Lovers, Nine of Wands, Knight of Swords, High Priestess, Empress, Power and three of wands. All right, there is a, a, a sudden change happens here with the tower right here, right smack in here. And spirit says there might be times when you you need to to do what is right for you, not what is right for others. It's like that, that somebody here, whatever happens is like, I didn't expect that to happen. And whatever you, to move forward, what energy you gotta take is follow your intuition because you might look for answers you might look for answer to towards the universe give me a sign give me an answer I'm waiting and whatever decision you need to take spirit says is in you you know better what to do But there is something here coming up and somebody is very, very much like conflicted, whatever the thing is. And somebody here doesn't like whatever you said, whatever turnaround of the situation is. 
because it's very uncomfortable. Let's see here, this Knight of Swords. What means this Knight of Swords for you? Because whatever news, whatever things coming, they come fast. And like, I didn't expect this. I didn't even imagine this could happen or I didn't see this as we speak right now. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, something here doesn't work for this person. And yes, there is very much resistance, discomfort. And oof, with this five of cups, regrets. I've should and done this and I didn't do this. Let's see. Tower moment here. Star. Moon. And justice. And underneath we do have Queen of Wands manipulation energy here somebody here feels manipulated and the other thing here what i'm feeling here is like i hoped a way out but now i i don't know if the way i pursue forward is working there's something here that it's very very uncomfortable but it's happening because the tower here when the tower appears in a reading Taurus is Whatever things needs to come out, they account, come out anyway. But there is, there is hope and there is fear. There's so much a mixture of everything. And somebody here might say, well, that's your choice. That's not mine. My apology. This is not working for me. I thought it would work differently. And things like that. Ten of Swords, Spirit. And yeah, I feel here there is somebody here who thought this person is the one you you feel you need but it seems to me that is not because clarifying this ten of swords came up as the fool knight of pentacle three of pentacles and ten of wands another ten the Ten of Cups is missing right here, which is about happiness. Somebody here might say like, well, I felt that this energy could go forward, but something here is sudden. And the other thing here, the Taurus I'm talking here feels like, you know, I should have done this before and do what works for me because I'm not in this energy anymore I'm moving on towards something new because anyway I do all the things by myself another thing here what I'm feeling here somebody here is choosing a different path 
because somebody here done always what is working for them, but not what works for this connection. And now you choose what you really need to. And you, you feel like here that things worked for quite a while because I put all the effort. And it's kind of the, the unexpected happened. Let's see. Empress, speak to me right here. Eight of Swords, Six of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups. And underneath we do have Three of Cups. It's like we, we get along. We get along here as good friends but not as stable energy. So this week, Taurus, there might be a sudden break, whatever it is here. But I feel here there is a truth here, most likely comes out and it's more likely you said that truth. And this person is very, very upset. And feels very much disappointed. But I feel here, this person always were in the denial. Do we do this? Do we moving forward? Well, I don't know. This is not working. Always something in. Always an excuse. And you felt quite like... Just because we have history here, I was very much like, I don't know what to do forward. But now I know. And you asked the universe what to do. And the universe told you, make a decision. What do you feel is close to you? Because whatever this person does works for them, not for you. And that could be a Libra, Gemini, a Chorus person. We have Gemini strongly, Libra strongly. Also, there is water energy here. And Spirit says, whatever you thought was stable you break the cycle this time but you do it because you want something stable grounded good for you and this this person is not let's see here one advice one advice for the Taurus for this week Temperance, be patient with the process, be calm. Four of Cups, learn to say no. Two of Swords. And the Devil. And underneath is Nine of Swords. This week, most likely, be patient with whatever is here. And allow what is good for you and what is not. It's more likely cut it off or refuse it. Somebody here needs to learn the word no. This is not good for me or this is not working for me or more likely like 
boundaries to be set up and the other thing is I gotta reflect on the situation more because clearly it's a disturbing energy and somebody here might found out that I am where I am because somebody wanted it not me so here we are Taurus there is decision making at this time and somebody here is ready to move forward with something new something better and there is a sudden thing here also spirit says avoid any big conflict especially at the evening times somebody here may it's it's having a break it's like i want this thing you like it or you don't And I feel here there is a a break energy. It's like the, the, the ice is breaking. So, love the Taurus. I feel you, but be patient with the process, whatever it's coming. Reflect on the things and move forward. Also, you are living on this earthly life short time. Keep in mind to live it beautifully and in a loving way. Because I feel here, somebody here might say, like, I li live this life till now for you and not for me. And now it's time for me. Love and light, Taurus. And of course, we'll see you next time. Blessings. Namaste.